another rough day. For the Toronto Blue Jays, they've now lost three straight games and they get absolutely slaughtered by the New York Mets 12-2 at City Field and the Jays' struggles at City Field continues. But this game, I mean, the first three, everything was fantastic. First inning, Jaime Garcia gets through the clean inning. We're like, all right, let's get it going. Let's let's keep this let's keep this rolling. And uh, they take the one nothing lead on a Noah Syndergaard double. Yeah, the pitcher doubles, scoring one, and it's one nothing. But it's okay. In the next half inning, Salarte singles to center field. Hernandez and uh, just no, excuse me, Granderson and Justin Smoke come in to score, and the Jays have the lead two one. All right, let's get it going. Garcia clean bottom of the third inning. That's great. Jays get out of the top of the fourth, and then the wheels fall off. Sack fly uh, for Noah Syndergaard with the bases loaded, nobody out. Then Eddie, uh, Rosario, Ahmed Rosario doubles to right, uh, one run scores. Lagaris infield single, I think it was, or singles to left field, two runs score. As Drupal, as Drupal Cabrera doubles to center field, Lagaris comes in to score. That's all in the fourth inning. Garcia was doing great up until that point. And as we've seen all year from the starting rotation, they have the one bad inning, and it kills them. You had a 2-1 lead. You're now down 6-2. Next half inning, the Jays try to find a way to get back into it. Two runners on, one out, grounds into a double play, and the inning is over. Next half inning, oh, it doesn't get any, I mean, it just doesn't get any better than this, right? It really doesn't. As they plot three more on the board, uh, Ahmed Rosario singles center field. Uh, Mazzarocco scores. Uh, Nemo, Nimo, singles to center. Uh, Adrian Gonzalez comes in to score. Lagaris infield single. Rosario scores. It is a, what is it now? A 9-2 game. Oh, and they aren't even done yet. Uh, Guillermo, I don't even know this guy's name. Singles to center field. Lagaris comes in to score. This is in the eighth inning. And then Devin Mazzarocco with the two-run shot. It is 12-2. Two. But guys, the story continues about the starting rotation being able to do absolutely nothing. Three great innings from Jaime Garcia. And then in the fourth, hits a brick wall. His lineup, in, well, I don't know what it was heading into that uh, inning, but he went three and two thirds. Bottom line, he gave up five runs in two thirds of an inning. Three and two-thirds, six hits, six runs, three walks, and three strikeouts. He was awful in that fourth inning. And yes, I have hit puberty. Because of that, you know, that, that crazy voice crack. Jake Patrichka comes out for one inning, gives up six hits and three runs. Yeah, he didn't do much better either. Deck McGuire, he goes three and a third because they need some guy to eat up some innings. Gives up four hits and three runs. So... It's not like just Garcia was bad and the bullpen was fine. He gave up six, Patrichka gave up three, and, and McGuire gave up three. And the offense, the Jays only had six measly hits in the ball game. Uh, Granderson with one, Donaldson with one, Smoke with one, Hernandez with one. Uh, Dak McGuire, the pitcher, he had a hit. Uh, Salarte one for four, obviously, with the RBI. But that's it. That was it. It sucks. Remember when the Jays were 12-5 and five and we're like, my goodness, this team has changed things around. Yeah, we're 21-21. and 21, Back to 500 people. And it lies in the starting pitching. If this game was even a little bit closer, the bats probably would have fought a little bit better, right? But because it was so far out of reach, they're like, ah, that's about all she wrote, boys. When you're down 12-2, I'm not going to complain about a bat at bat. Because it's 12-2. You know? And uh, you've now lost three straight. You're playing like garbage as of late. You haven't been able to win any games. Tomorrow, Jay Happ, I mean... I mean, we look for a good start, I guess, tomorrow uh, afternoon. to one ten first first pitch there uh, in New York against Zach Wheeler. I don't know what's going to happen. We have not seen the starting rotation go deep in games... 
at all lately. Last time we saw a fairly deep outing was Marco Estrada, and even he had a tough time in his outing. Uh, was that? Yeah, Marco Estrada. He gave up four runs uh, over six innings, and that's about all. I mean, that's the longest we last, because then Biagini went four innings. We know what Garcia did for us today. Uh, game one of the series against Boston. Uh, well, hold on. I'm trying to look. Because the bullpen was taxed in that game, but Aaron Sanchez only gave you five innings. Uh, we'll go back here. Seattle, we lost 9-3. Jay Happ didn't even get out of the fourth inning. Or, uh, yeah, out of the fourth inning. And then uh, you go back to the Seattle game where the Jays won 5-2. They had to come back. But even then, Jaime Garcia only gave you five innings of work. We have not gotten more than five innings in quite a while. 5 nothing loss to Seattle. Stroman, uh, he only went five innings, and then he's on the DL now. This team has not gotten any good starting pitching this year. Jay Happ was good to start. He's had awful last two starts. Stroman hasn't been good. Garcia had a first couple good starts, and he's been awful ever since. Estrada, up and down. Sanchez, kind of the same deal. They have not been good enough. Not one of the Jays starters has a sub-4 ERA. That tells you right there how bad it's been. Now, I know it's early, guys. I know it's only game, what, 41 or 42? I think it's 42 of the season. I get that. But this is 42 games in, and we haven't seen really any good starting pitching at all. Not from one guy. To, last year, we saw Marcus Stroman pitching great the entire year. Jay Happ was, you know, when he came back from injury, he was great. Um... But other than Stroman last year, we really didn't see anything consistent. This year, we haven't seen anybody consistent to start the, uh, consistent to start the season. And I keep trying to bring out a fresh batch. And I'm like, okay, all right. Let's get a good start from Jay Happ tomorrow. And maybe that'll kind of change the tides for this team. But I don't know. They're really struggling. 21 and 21 now on the year. They've lost three straight. They're three and seven in their last ten. They really have not played a lot of great baseball as of late. And when they have, they've had to come back in games. It's just been a tough one for the Blue Jays. You know how they win that one uh, against Boston? They had to come back against Chris Sale. They were down three two. How'd you beat the Seattle Mariners? You were down. I think it was two one. This team has not had a lead and held a lead for a little for quite a while, and it's getting frustrating. So tomorrow, Jay Happ. Arguably one of the best starters on this rotation, but I mean, at this point, I don't even know who's any good on the team. Aaron Sanchez, I guess, statistically is, but he's still over a 4 ERA. Uh, Jay Happ going to the mound, I guess, uh, what, 4-3 and three with a 4.80 earned run average against Zach Wheeler with a 5.03 uh, earned run average. Look, we had a feeling today was going to be a tough one with Noah Syndergaard on the mound, but the Jays did get to him early on, and uh, they had a rally going there. I think it was in the fifth, or, I think it was the fifth inning. Couldn't get anything out of it, and he cruised uh, th there on out, right? It was just, it sucked. The offense really didn't didn't show up at all, even though they were getting smoked for the most of the part of the game. But the pitching still is an issue, all right? So, you know what, guys? That is going to do it for this one. You guys enjoyed this video, and you guys did not enjoy this game. Smack that like button. I do appreciate that. Hit the subscribe button if you guys have not already. Comment down below what you guys think of the game. What did you, what'd you think of Garcia? I mean, he's kind of done this quite a few times lately where he's got, had a few good innings and then just blown up. I want to hear what you guys have to say about him. What do you think about this team overall as of late? And uh, we'll talk to you guys uh, tomorrow. Um, well, we'll talk to you guys. Sorry. We'll talk to you guys uh, very shortly. Podcast edition. Link is in the description for the podcast channel, guys. Go check that one out. Um, Evan and I recorded it tonight. The link is in the description for the podcast channel and for the it, uh, podcast itself on iTunes. It'll be uploaded very shortly, hopefully. So thank you guys for listening to that. Also, Twitter is down below, guys. Go check that out. Follow up, send me a DM, do all that great kind of stuff. And for the Blue Jays, we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Uh, it'll be tomorrow about 5.30, I'm hoping, 6 o'clock. I'm not too sure, guys. I'll keep you guys posted, though. I have a doubleheader of baseball tomorrow, so it might even be, I don't know. I have no clue what's going to happen tomorrow, you guys, but I'm sorry. Uh, but uh, keep you guys posted, and we'll talk to you guys tomorrow night as the Jays look to win a game, period. Jay Happ, Zach Wheeler are the pitching matchups tomorrow afternoon in at City Field in New York. We'll talk to you guys then.